What's up guys? This is Frank and welcome to Greybird Garage. So today you can see there's nothing in this spot, but by the end of today, we're gonna have something cool sitting here. It's early on a Sunday morning, waiting for my buddy Mikey to come pick me up and we're gonna go buy a car. Good morning, buddy. How you doing? How are you? Let's go. Ready? Let's are do it. Ready? Dude, I didn't sleep last night. <laughs> I wouldn't either if I was you. <laughs> Let's roll. Let's roll. All right, here we are. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I got your vet right here. You got my vet right here? <laughs> What's going on, Joe? How we doing? <laughs> We're good, man. We're good. Back at the home front here, taking a look at something a little special. So what do we got here? This... Mom's doing the honors? Yeah. Hi, Barbara. Mom, you're going to be a YouTube star. Oh, God. Here it is. Let me get a better angle, hold on. Holy shit. You just left the book There it is. Watch the antenna. Yeah. Alright, we gotta get this thing outside so I can get a little bit better of an yeah, angle. Yeah, we gotta roll it out. I think it's awesome. What is it? So here we are. There it is. 1976 Chevy Corvette Stingray. Car is beautiful. And just put a little bit of air in the tires. Uh, I got a whole boatload of parts from the garage too. And uh, we're going to be pushing it up on the trailer. So uh, here we go. All right, so we got the car up on the trailer, and um, I did it myself. <laughs> All right, no, I didn't do it myself. I had a couple of neighbors come out. Gentlemen, how is everybody? Even Barbara helped us. She's the uh, the one who steered and guided the car up onto the trailer. But uh, yeah, she's all loaded up, and. Uh, Looking forward to getting her back to Pennsylvania and uh, doing some work. Nice. So, here we go. Here we go, great state of Pennsylvania. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much, appreciate it. Here we go. So we got it back to the house. Um, got another friend over here, my buddy John. He came by when he heard that we were bringing it home, and uh, we're gonna see if we can get this thing running. So, what did we just put in the uh, the tank? Startron. All right, so we put some Startron in the tank. All right, supposedly that's a uh, fuel additive that's going to take the old fuel and basically make it runnable. I also have five gallons of 93 that we just put bought and uh, I gotta put a new battery in it. So we're gonna get to work on this and I plan on having this running real soon. So we'll see what happens. Real quick, let me just show you what we're looking at here. So here's our motor, the uh, Chevy 350. And everything looks so clean on it. This car was restored um, a couple of years ago prior to it being parked. 
and it doesn't look like it's going to need a hell of a lot of work to get it going look at the interior interior is in very 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 good shape so the next thing we got to do is we're going to change the battery and on these cars batteries sitting down over there I did put a uh, battery charger on the battery that was here but that's it's too far gone so we're gonna go ahead and put a new battery in that we just bought all right battery's been changed new fuel is in John just gave us a little squirt of starting fluid let's see what we can do here <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, it's idling. I don't even got to do anything. Right, guys we're back at the shop um really happy that i was able to with the help of a couple of friends transport this car back from new york to my house in pennsylvania and get it running literally within an hour of it coming into this driveway so big shout out mikey bezik for your transport skills and big shout out john stout for helping me uh get it going again the things that we used for that, um, I had mentioned earlier, we used the uh, Starbright Startron enzyme fuel treatment. This stuff is what we put in the fuel tank to uh, help with the old fuel. The old fuel was only a couple of years old, but it still smelled good, so we were okay with that. Um, 
This stuff is a fuel stabilizer. It says it uh, stabilizes fuel, improves performance, cleans fuel systems, and more. So we use that plus uh, five gallons of fresh 93 octane. And that's, that's basically it after just a couple of squirts of starting fluid, tapped the key and she, went, she, she turned right over. Um, of course, with the new battery too. But, you know, thanks very much, guys. I appreciate that. Um, big shout out to the uh, McPhee and Sierra family for allowing me to purchase this car. Um, and that's basically it. The only thing that what I found that the car actually needs right now is the, the brakes need to be bled because I noticed when I was driving it around that the uh, right side caliper did grab harder than the left. So we're gonna bleed the brakes, see if we can even all that stuff out today. Um, gonna need an oil change uh, and it needs one quart of automatic transmission fluid. Other than that, I'm gonna run the fuel that we just put through, uh, just put in through the tank and we're going to change the uh, fuel filter, which I actually have a bunch of these canister style fuel filters. They came with the car. I got probably six or seven of these. And for the oil change, I actually have some PF25 AC Delco oil filters that also came with the car. So that's, was an added bonus on top of actually been taking the car home. So thanks very much, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, like and subscribe. There's going to be more videos coming up, more videos of this car as we get it running um, and get it roadworthy. It shouldn't take very much, but we're going to, we're going to document every little bit of it. And um, car show season's upon us. We're going to be doing car show videos. Got a lot of fun stuff coming up. So thanks very much, guys. And uh, I'll see you guys out there.